The following footage is the unaired pilot of a show entitled Chatting with the Gentry, a programme produced and presented by Jeff Hillhurst, a journalist and cat cafe critic. Due to an horrific incident that occurred during this interview with Sir Reginald Backwash, the project was axed. Hillhurst himself suppressed the material ferociously for several years. We are only able to show it to you now thanks to heavy bribery. Warning, the footage you are about to see some viewers may find ridiculous. Some have called him eccentric. Others have called him deranged. Some may even perceive him as a genius. So Reginald Backwash's latest headline grabbing, shall we politely call them, antics, have seen him tapping in to the political zeitgeist of migration. Strap in, folks. I'm Jeff Hillhurst, and this is Chatting with the Gentry. Sir Reginald Backwash, may I call you an idiot? And if I can call you Galahad? No. In which case, watch your damn mouth. Fair enough. So, Sir Reginald, what is all this about? I understand that you are against birds migrating. That's right, Galahad. It's Jeff. You see, the right-wing bigots who think they run this country are right. We need tighter border control, and that goes especially for our migrating birds. We need to keep British birds in and keep bastarding parakeets out, coming over here, taking up good roosting spots that should be for our birds, with their blue plumage. Parakeets aren't blue, it's, it's parrots. Oh, whatever, they're all the Macaws, I think. Don't get me started on the Scots. Keep porridge English is what I say. Anyway, Trump has his war, which, whilst popular, is impractical. I mean, the costs of materials and manual labour mean it's the ridiculous dream of an inflated, tangerine-coloured man-child. However, I have my nets. Yes, I can see your manservant, uh, Flatulence, manhandling the nets over there. Yes, that's right. You see, unlike the war, my nets are cost-effective. Not only in materials, but also in manpower. Flatulence can put them all up himself. He seems to be struggling at the minute. Language! You're on camera, you bedraggled ball bag! <coughs> So what exactly is the game plan, Sir Reginald? Oh, well, we'll be erecting these 227-foot-high nets, uh, a little bit like the ones you get on golf courses. Pop those bastards up along the coast. Uh, which coast? Our coast, you tit. Not going to be much use on Australia's beaches, is it? Are you some kind of raging... Sir? I mean, which of our coastal areas will you be erecting these nets? Is there a specific stretch which you feel needs targeting? Well, to begin with, the entire south coast the will have to have... The entire south coast? Yes. I mean, for crying out loud, we all know that birds migrate south in the winter and from the south in the poxy ball-baking summer. So obviously, the south coast is our starting point. Starting point? Christ, you are thicker than dipshit soup. I mean, the birds are going to cotton on to the fact that they can't get through that way eventually and will naturally alter their flight paths accordingly. So, in time, we will be erecting nets around the entire stretch of the English coast. You intend on ringing the entirety of the British coastline with a 220-foot high fence? Uh, nets. Nets. Do you not think this will impede the natural beauty somewhat? Well, that may be, but it's a small price to pay for the safety of our British birds. Ah, yes, cost. Uh, you mentioned that this was cost-effective. I, I suppose my question is this. Is it? How much will this actually cost? Well... I'm hoping to ask the government for 350 million English pounds, all told, including my retainer as head of the ABMI. The ABMI? The Anti-Bird Migration Initiative. That's the fella, yeah. So you're going to ask the government to fund this Anti-Bird Migration Initiative for the sum of 350 million pounds? Yes. 
Well, where is this money being sourced? Well, if they can keep May in leopard skin kitten heels and pay off the DUP, then they can spare a little for the ABMI. Well, considering the extremely low cost of the nets and the fact that you'll be using this fool to erect the nets... Thank you, sir. Would you not say that uh, a big chunk of this money is going into your own pockets, Sir Reginald? Look, I came up with the idea. Anyway... This is just one part of a three-pricked approach. There's only one prick from where I'm standing. Anyone? Hmm? I think I've torn an hole in it, sir. Oh, yes. maybe two. Of course, beyond the net, we will have to keep a close eye on those birds determined to get in by illicit means. What illicit means? Pies. Pies. Pies, mister. Yes, by God's gargantuan gonads. There have been reports of up to four and twenty birds being smuggled into one pie alone. Reports? From where? When? Well, I don't have these reports to hand right now, but I read it, so it must be true. <laughs> you read it in a nursery rhyme, didn't you, sir? Shut up, you little hell pipe star! I cannot recall at this moment precisely where I read it, but uh, there will have to be a strict surveillance procedure on all imported pies. Ginksters and Gregs will have to tread very carefully. Bloody hell. I know it's scary, but if we remain vigilant, we will prevail. This is absurd. All problems seem mountainous at the start, lad. We can do it with hard work, focus, and a sturdy pair of trousers. Mm. You're as mad as he is. Oh. Uh, of course, all imported fowl will have to be scrutinised. We, we don't want flamingos slipping in dressed as chickens now, do we? No. <laughs> flamingos? They don't even migrate. The gays are an unpredictable group, my friend. You never know what their next move might be. This is quite literally beyond belief. What if the birds decide to fly over the fence? Net. Now that brings me nicely onto prick three. Ah, yes, of course. There's more. Please, do go on. I will. Now, as you suggest, the nets only go so high. There's plenty of sky for the birds to use. You think you've caught me up, but I'm one step ahead of you. I am not quite the blustering idiot you think I am. Oh, no, I think you are. I'm not sure I like you very much, young man. To stop the miscreant migrant birds from simply flying over the net, we will train a squadron of falcons to police the things. Okay. That's not actually a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll buy into that. It's the... Uh, Sanest part of this whole lunatic scheme. Uh, so this is why you've been standing here with your arm in the air and you've been tapping your wrist for the entirety of this uh, interview. That is correct. We are in the middle of training our first falcon. His name is Windrider Dave. Don't come. Oh, yes, that's right. Fletcher's set him up his own web to net. Yes. It's got moving clip art and everything. Mm. And what's this website in aid of? Well, every initiative needs a face, a presence to go with a name, especially if you're trying to raise awareness and <coughs> money. Now, uh, my face is a little rough around the edges, <laughs> so, so we thought Windriders would be more appealing with his fine, strong beak and those deep, beautiful eyes you could just get lost in forever. Oh, a man could fall in love with those eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, we are seeing if Windrider, that prince among birds, is up to the task. A test run, if you like, to see if this whole idea will actually work. And how's the training been going so far? Well, uh, we started a couple of days ago, and to be perfectly honest with you, uh, things aren't going as smoothly as we'd like. A matter of my surprise. So, what's gone wrong? Well, put it this way. I've been stood here for three solid days waiting for Windrider to come back to me. So you're pretty stuffed then? It looks that way, yes. This whole farce is just another ruse for you to make money out of people, isn't it? Well, in so many words, uh, <coughs> yes. There you have it, folks. Not only has he lost his entire fortune, but also his grip on reality. <coughs> if, if it were up to him, our skies would be vastly different. Mainly due to the great dearth of free-flying birds, but also because of the great shadow will be cast over the entire British coastline by his fences. Nets! Right, do you know what? My name is Jeff, and if you can't even get that right, well then you can shove it across the old cretin! Windrider there! You came back! I knew you would! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh shit! He's going into a killer dive! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>